What's up, everybody? What we're doing today is we're going to go down to Tennessee and get us a Feist Pup. Um, this is the first Feist Pup that I've ever got. Uh, I said in the last video, I was looking to get a squirrel dog. Um, I found one a puppy uh, out of a really good cross on a litter. It was the last pup available, and I jumped on it, and we're taking a weekend trip down to Tennessee to grab it. Uh, we're going to get you guys some footage of the road and all this stuff, and we'll be back, and uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, this is the first fill up. Um, we're about an hour in. We need to grab some gas and some stuff and we'll be on our way. All right, everybody, we officially made it to Indiana. Hope you got the glimpse of the sign. Um, we got about six hours and 40 more minutes to go before we get there. Um, it's gonna be about 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, when we start rolling through the bigger cities, I'll get you guys some more footage. But as far as road footage right now, it's just uh, dark headlights. So bear with us and we'll get uh, pushed onto the video. We'll get you guys to meet this little dog. Well guys, we tried Arby's, they were closed, so we ended up and opted out for the gas station. We had a um, sick incident, um, so we're dealing with that, but you know, we are still trudging right along. This is the kind of road trips that we get involved in when we have three kids, but we're going to have a good time and we're going to push on through. Alright guys, we are about 45 minutes from Kentucky. Um, we're going to get the state line on this one pretty good. Uh, Kentucky's one of my favorite states. Got a lot of people that live down in Kentucky, a lot of relatives and stuff. That's where, uh, where we come from there. Um, we are making our way to Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Um, we actually lived in Harriman for about five years. Um, if you didn't know anything about feist dogs, you know, the bar, uh, barger stock feist dogs come out of Harriman. Um, and so we're going to make our way back down there. Um, we are not getting a dog directly from uh, the barger uh, kennel, um, but somebody who has a barger dog that is uh, crossed out with a really good dog. And um, we'll wait to the end of the video to reveal that. But uh, stick around.
All right, guys, we just passed into Kentucky, as you've seen. We are here at the gas station right here in, uh, I believe, Hendersonville. We are going to fuel up on gas again, and we're going to push on. we got about two hours to go. Um, let's get to it. All right, guys, well, that was some footage of uh, Nashville. Um, just so happens to be that we took the long way around by about four hours, and it has been my turn to drive uh, since then. Uh, that's why we missed the state sign. But we are inching our way in. We are going to make it there bright and early in the morning uh, to snack the puppy up. Um, I will see if the guy wants to have a talk or sit down or show me around. But if not, we're gonna give the man the privacy and uh, we'll just skip that part of the video that it's totally up to him. I will ask him, um, but we'll get a nice uh, video and stuff of the puppy. Um, we still got a couple towns to go through. We'll try to snag up some more road footage. Um, hopefully by the time we get over to where we're going, it'll be nice and uh, bright out again. So we have effectively drove probably by the time we get there about 14 hours on a 10 hour drive. Um, but hey man, it happens to the best of us. I'm not gonna sweat it. We're gonna keep on pushing through and we're gonna get this uh, job done. I want this puppy, man. Alright everybody, this is the little feist puppy. Uh, the guy didn't have time to talk uh, or get a little bit of video rolling. But we went ahead and got the little girl picked up here. She is just a stunning little feist pup if you ask me. Um, she's sired by Pissed Off Pig. Uh, if anybody knows feist dogs, Pissed Off Pig is a two time world champ and a two time national champ. Uh, feist dog so I'm really glad really lucky to have this dog we drove all the way from Michigan to come down and get this dog I caught the post one minute after it was posted and when I got hold of the guy he said well you're gonna have to give me a deposit because everybody's on these dogs and they're gonna be gone so if you wanted to put a deposit I'll hold it for you to come down uh, other than that he's gonna sell it to somebody local so I went ahead and put a deposit on took a chance drove all the way across the dang country and come down here and pick this little puppy up.